Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to this special video for Lubbockon 2021. Now, Lubbockon, based in Lubbock, Texas, is one of my favorite conventions that I go to. I went to the first Lubbockon in 2016 at an amazing time, and I've gone every year since. I haven't missed. But this year, Lubbockon made the decision to go virtual. But instead of just having one event, they've decided to have a year-long convention where they have events every month, and every month has its own unique theme. And they encourage people across the community to show off their artwork, videos, anything they can to help celebrate that uh, theme. And the theme for March is board games. And I figured that'd be a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys how to play arguably my favorite board game, Yuri of Dracula. Now, before we get going, I have a link to Lebacon's Facebook and Instagram in the description below. Please go ahead and check them out if you feel so inclined. They are an amazing group of people that have done tons of good work for the geek community here in West Texas, and they definitely need to be recognized for that. So show them some love if you can. I also have the link to this awesome digital edition of Fury of Dracula, which was done by Nomad Games. It's available on Steam. That is down in the description below as well. So the premise of this game is quite simple. This is a direct sequel to the classic Bram Stoker novel. Um, but Dracula in his typical Castlevania or Hammer Horror film nature has come back from the dead and it's the job of four hunters, who were all characters from the original book, to come together and chase Dracula across Europe and put the Count down for the Count before he's able to raise his own army of vampires and become invincible. This is up to a five player game, but one of the cool things about this is we actually have one person playing Dracula and the other players as hunters. So it's a it's a PVP style game, PVP and PVE if you have more people playing as hunters um, for the max of five, you can have each uh, player as a hunter and then one person play as Dracula. You could do one V one kind of like what we're going to do is we're going to be playing against the computer as all four hunters. Now, um, the four hunters here are Lord uh, Galdamine um, from the original book, who I believe was Lucy Seward's um, fiance. You've got Dr. John Seward, who worked at the asylum and was Lucy's brother, I believe. You got Dr. Van Helsing, classic, you know, vampire hunter. And then you have Mina Harker. Now, you may be wondering if you're a fan of the original story. Well, where's Jonathan Harker? If you read the manual to the game, the whole story is when Dracula resurrected, the first thing that he did is he actually mind controlled Jonathan Harker to try and kill he and Mina's child because they'd had a kid and they don't really specify whether the child was like a toddler or a baby or older. But needless to say, Jonathan came very close to actually killing the killing their son, I believe. And fortunately, the intervention, he was able to get stopped before he did it. But that was the clue. That was basically Dracula's message like, hey, I'm back. And now Mina is like hell bent to uh, get a little bit of revenge. Jonathan is in the game, but in a different kind of form. And hope maybe we'll see that over the course of the game, but we'll see. So um, we also have the the option when you play to use power cards it makes dracula more powerful kind of ups the difficulty for the hunters since we're going to be playing the base game we're not going to use any of the power cards we're just going to go um the vanilla for lack of a better term okay so we'll go ahead and play now there's a lot to take into this game but it you start catching on real quick i promise so here we have a map of europe and Europe is divided into different sections. We've got Spain, England and Ireland, France, Germany, Italy, Austria, Hungary and um, Greece, Macedonia. All right. And we have cities all over the place. And when you look at the board first, it becomes like kind of intimidating if you've never played this game before. But it like once you start getting used to the mechanics, it's like riding a bike. It just takes no time at all. So there are, over the course of a day, there are two turns. There's a daytime turn and a nighttime turn. Um, a hunters can do one action every turn and they can only move during the day. That's very important. The hunters do not move at night because that's when things go bump. <laughs> so they, they try to avoid traveling at night if at all possible. And um, everything else I'll just kind of have to explain as we go along. but. You see this thermometer here 
Um, these are Dracula's victory points. If Dracula reaches 13 victory points, he wins the game. So we have to prevent that at all costs. What we have to do is basically um, take Dracula down to zero health points. So we've got Dracula here. He has 15 health points right here. You can check that out here at the bottom left. Got to get him down to zero and put him down once and for all. Our characters also have health. So there is combat in this game. Hopefully we'll be able to get around to that um, over the course of this demonstration. But um, you got health here and these little teeth marks are how many times they've been bitten. Because there is a bite attack that vampires can make against the hunters. And if you're bit twice, you're instantly knocked out. You're also knocked out if your health goes to zero. Um, it's okay, you're not dead. You're not completely out of the game, but when you are KO'd, Dracula gets some victory points, so you kind of want to avoid that at all costs. Now, the thing about Mina, if you remember from the original book, is she already has a bite. So that bite mark is represented right there. Um, that, unfortunately, gives Mina a disadvantage at the beginning of the game, because when you have a bite mark, Dracula can also see one of your cards at all times, so you can't hide it from him. So he he kind of knows what you're capable of, at least a little bit, when it comes to Mina, because of that psychic link from being bit. However, Mina does have a very nasty ability because of that link um, that we'll show here very, very soon. Now, each of the four vampire hunters have their own unique abilities. Lord Galdamin, um, when we supply in a large city, we draw two item cards. So um, in this game, there is a giant deck of cards that are items and events. These are things that can help out the hunter. Now, the problem with that is also in this deck are cards that help Dracula. So when we supply card, when we um, there, one of the actions that you can do during a turn is supply and basically gain weapons and events that can help you. But you also have a chance of giving Dracula cards. So it's it's kind of a toss up um, whenever you try and supply your character. But um, Lord Galdamin can get a lot of supplies very quickly, but he can also supply Dracula fairly quickly, too, if his luck is bad. Also, when he reserves tickets, he gains two ticket tokens. Um, tickets are another thing that you can do where you can basically reserve uh, railroad tickets to travel across the map faster. And we'll get into that. Um, Dr. Seward. He has two very cool abilities. Um, when you or another hunter in your city rests, that hunter recovers two damage. So if a hunter is damaged and in the same city as Dr. Seward, heals faster. You know, pretty simple. And um, normally you can have a max of three item cards and three event cards. With Dr. Seward, he actually can have four of each. So he's able to carry more gear. I guess because he has a giant doctor's bag. I don't know. So um, Van Helsing um, has the ability leader. When you trade, instead of item cards, you may choose to trade event cards with a hunter in any city. Um, one of the things that you can do if you're in the same city with another character is you can trade items. But with uh, Dr. Sewer, or excuse me, with Van Helsing, he can also trade events with characters. So that's pretty cool. And then he is strong willed, which means he has two bite spaces. So instead of, um, he actually has to be bitten three times to be KO'd. He's got, a, he's, got a real, he's got a tough leathery neck, I guess, for all intents and purposes. And then we've got Mina. Mina has an ability that is very useful called Psychic Bond. What Psychic Bond does is as her action, if she is in the same city with someone, she can basically um, be told, it forces Dracula to tell her if he's in the same region. So what that means is um, if Mina is in the same city with Van Helsing, for example, and they use their, their ability here, we get to know if Dracula is in any of these towns in Germany. Now, you may notice that we've got pieces for Van Helsing and Mina and Dr. Seward and Lord Galdamin. Where's Dracula? Well, Dracula doesn't actually show up to the characters on the map. This is a, basically a huge game of hide and seek. Dracula has his own deck. He actually has his own little play area when you have the physical board game. I have um, the second edition and third edition of this game, like the physical copies. And Dracula has his own deck of cards and he picks his starting location and puts it up here. 
You see this card? This is the trail. These are places that Dracula has been. He starts in one city and then he moves to the next city and he finds that card and he moves this one over here and puts his most recent, his current location on the left. So then the trail just gets longer as he travels places. Um, our role as hunters is to find that trail and then using that trail can try and figure out where he's gone and try and take him down. So this is the, this is the closest thing we get to clues really. Um, the bad part about that is Dracula can also leave encounters in the places that he's been. Encounters are traps, essentially, um, where he can ambush us or if we try and figure out what's there, um, it can be bad for us. Um, one thing that Dracula can also put in these locations instead of traps are other vampires, vampires that he is either in the process of woken up or he just made. And that's kind of the primary goal of the game, other than killing Dracula, is to stop these vampires from actually getting more powerful. When um, an area on the trail moves completely off the board, like he just had, he just moved so much. And if we we're able, to, if a, a place is moved off the board without us discovering it, that trap matures. And what that means is it either becomes nastier, nothing happens depending on the trap. Or in the case of a vampire, it gives Dracula victory points because that vampire is now ready to go out into the night and wreak havoc in his Lord's name. And that's very bad for all of Europe and the world, to be honest. So um, everything else we'll probably just have to explain as we go along. But uh, let's go ahead and go with Lord Galdamine. We've got an option up here to zoom in. So we've got cities here, and you notice that we have red lines and yellow lines heading from city to city. Um, let me go ahead and explain this real quick. The blue cities mean that they're on the coast. That means that if you use your move action, you can actually move into the ocean. You basically charter a ship to, to uh, head that direction. Um, you definitely do have that option, and so does Dracula. The thing about it with Dracula, though, Dracula cannot go out onto the ocean without taking damage. So when he goes into the ocean, not only does he take damage, but a blue backed card appears here on the trail to let us know that he's gone into the ocean. And then we can kind of narrow down where he is based on the fact that he's in the water. You know? So uh, green cities, these are... Um, Landlocked cities, you can't go onto the ocean from, obvious. The red are roads. You can move um, normally from one city to another via a connected road. And these yellow markers, and we also have white markers over here on the left side, those are railroads. Now, Dracula cannot travel by rail. He's superstitious about technology. He doesn't like it, so he refuses to travel via that way. So he normally only travels one city at a time. The hunters have an advantage, though, because they don't have those kind of scruples, so they can travel um, via a railroad. And I'll show you guys about reserving tickets and everything as we go on. But um, as I said before, hunters can only move during the day. So we are going to go ahead and move Lord Galdamine, because we have no idea where Dracula is right off the bat. We're going to move him to Bucharest. Now, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of some of these cities, so just kind of bear with me. We got a confirmation. Now we go here to Dr. Seward. Basically what you need to do at the beginning of the game is just try and figure out, have a base idea of where Dracula is. Um, it's kind of a turkey shoot at the beginning of the game by design. That's why the hunters are all spread out. So let's go ahead and move over here to Tulu. Now, what we're going to do here with Van Helsing, and this is very important that this is normally done at the beginning of every game. We are going to move Van Helsing down here to Brussels to be in the same area as Mina. And instead of moving, Mina is going to use her special ability. So every turn, um, you can choose to either move, pass your turn, which is very rare. You can reserve tickets which means that you can uh, reserve railroad tickets and then you can actually travel across the railroads um, during the day. You can rest and regain any um, health that you may have lost. You can search 
um, which if you're if you're on an area that Dracula has been and there's something there's an encounter card there, you can see what it is. You can use your special ability if you have the if you have it and you can supply, which is that thing I was talking about before where you have a chance of getting um, equipment and events. But Dracula also has the chance of getting something because it's drawn from the bottom of the deck. But um, for this case, because Mina is in the same city with Van Helsing, we're going to use her special ability, Psychic Bond. Dracula isn't in Gallia, which is France. So Dracula is not in any of these cities right now. Now it's gone into the night phase. Um, during the night phase, we can't move, but we can go ahead and supply and grab stuff. So um, with Lord Galdamine here, I'm going to grab some supplies and remember he can draw two instead of one so we've gained a pistol and fast horses and Jonathan Harker <laughs> that's awesome so um, there are allies in this game what an ally does is you can either use them for a one-time use or you can keep them as an ally and they always have a um, a continuous effect now the problem, Dracula has allies as well. But that's cool that Jonathan Harker, we got it right here. Play immediately to search uh, a location or as an ally. If we chose to use uh, Jonathan immediately and just as a one use card, choose one city, Dracula must reveal that city's location card. So we could just try randomly to figure out what city he's in. Or as an ally, when a hideout slides to the sixth space of the trail, reveal that hideout's location card. So when these cards move over, once it gets to this sixth spot right here, it automatically reveals itself. So that'll give us a good idea of where Dracula is. So we're definitely going to play Harker as an ally. He's doing research in London, just trying to help us out. Okay, with uh, Dr. Seward, I think we're going to do the same thing here. We have not given Dracula any cards, which is nice. Oh, spoke too soon. Now Dracula has a card. Empiric Influence, choose one weakened hunter. The hunter reveals all their item and event cards. Choose and discard one of those cards and then move that hunter to an adjacent city. So the only hunter that we have that's weakened, and that means it, um, they're suffering a vampire bite, is Mina. Mina has no cards in her hand to discard, which is nice, but Mina just got moved up to Amsterdam, so she and uh, Van Helsing switched places. Now with Van Helsing, um, let's go ahead and reserve a ticket so we can actually travel on the railroad. So I have received a horrible uh, one. Most of these tickets, they're going to have either a white number or a yellow number or both. White numbers mean they can travel on the western rails and yellow numbers mean they can travel on the eastern rails. Normally the white numbers, um, you have more, like it, they can go up to three. The yellow numbers are usually low because the railways in Eastern Europe aren't nearly as advanced as the ones in Western Europe. So you can travel in Eastern Europe by rail, but not nearly as fast as you can in Western. All right, now we'll go with Mina, who is a little bit discombobulated right now, but we're gonna go ahead and Get fast horses. And Lucy's revenge. Let's see what this actually does. Now it's Dracula's turn. Dracula moves at the end of the night phase. So he has just moved to a new city and he's put an encounter card there. All right. Now it's our turn again. We're going to go. Oh, yes. I forgot to mention Castle Dracula. So Dracula's home away from home. Um, if Dracula goes to Castle Dracula, he heals up a certain amount of health. I think he uh, heals up to three or five, something like that. So it's definitely a good place to go when he's running low. The problem with Castle Dracula is the card for Castle Dracula is very unique. So when he lays it on the trail, everyone knows that he's at Castle Dracula. So he can heal, but at the cost of everyone knowing where he is. So... There is a uh, there's a price to be paid. I guess we have some spies there or something. Uh, let's go ahead and move here to Sophia. Nothing there. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and try Spain here with Dr. Seward. So we'll head down here to Saragossa. Van Helsing. Let's try... That word. <laughs> Very lovely coastal city in France. And Mina. Let's head to Cologne. No Dracula yet. So, um, in terms of the cards, what Fast Horses does, reveal this card as an action during the day. Reveal one ticket from the pool and move a number of roads up to the yellow number on that ticket. If there's no yellow number on that ticket, move one road and discard this card instead of returning it to your hand. What that does, essentially, is it lets us draw a railway ticket, and whatever the yellow number is, we can move that many instead of just moving normally. So that's kind of cool. If we don't have any, like, uh, tickets reserved, which I am actually going to do right now. And we can reserve, reserve two. So there's another one. And that's what I meant about the uh, Western and Eastern railways. So I can move two Western rails or one Eastern rail using that ticket. Um, Seward gave Dracula a card before, so let's see if we can actually... There we go. Um, Van Helsing, let's do the same for you. Speedy Telegraph. And I'll explain all these cards as we go on. No worries, guys. And Mina. Heavenly Host. And Escape Route. I like it. But remember, Dracula knows what some of our cards are, unfortunately. The music and the kind of slightly steampunk vibe of this game is so awesome. So Speedy Telegraph, um, play at dawn. It's a brand new day, so... During both day and night of this hunter phase, the hunters can perform actions in any order. Ignore the, the activation order. So that allows, like, if it would be advantageous for someone else to move first, that's when you would play this card. To try and, like, trap Dracula. Or, it's uh, very situational. I'm going to go ahead and keep that, though, and not use it. Um, another thing that's important is um, this this day that you see. And you notice that uh, Wednesday is right up here. Um, over the course of a week, if we have not killed Dracula within a week, you're going to see part of this sun and moon, depending on the time, look a little bit angry. You're going to see a pie slice right here. That means Dracula is getting more powerful. Every week that we don't take Dracula out, um, he becomes more powerful until this entire area is very angry at the, after three weeks of game time. If we haven't found Dracula or killed him by then, every single time he drops an encounter card down, he gains victory points. So that's essentially the game saying, hey, wrap it up. You know what I mean? So it's in Dracula's favor for the game to run long. Um, let's go ahead and try, he, as you can see, Dracula moved to another land space. So we are going to try Valona. And if he's not here, then that eliminates these other places. Okay, he is not in Greece. Let us move to Madrid. Now, this red cross above the town means that there's a hospital. When a character is knocked out, hopefully that won't happen during this play, um, this is where they wake up. They wake up in the closest city that actually has a cross over it. Okay, good. Dracula started in Madrid. It just showed up on the card there. So Dracula is somewhere in Spain. All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and travel down to Spain. We're just basically, everyone's going to make a mad scramble. Because the more people that are fighting Dracula, the better off we are. Now, Dracula could also head out into the water. Which would be bad for us, but... We're going to go ahead and supply. And we just gave Dracula a card, which is unfortunate. And... We definitely need some supplies with Seward. A knife. 
And those symbols and everything will explain once we get into combat. Those are combat cards. And same thing with Van Helsing. There are... Ooh, that's a good one. There are more... Um, uh oh. Choose one weakened hunter. Oh, Mina's going to have to discard a card and then move away, isn't, isn't he? Or she... And we were forced to drop Lucy's Revenge. And Dracula's moving us away from Spain. Um, at that point, then, we need to go ahead and reserve a train ticket. Let's see if we can get there fast. That's one of the best ones we can get, is that right there. Okay. So you just saw Dracula take damage. And there is a blue card, which means that he has gone into the ocean. And I'm going to go ahead and just use Speedy Telegraph to get it done. So that means that Dracula, let's go ahead and zoom out here. Dracula can either be in two oceans. He can be in the South Atlantic or the Mediterranean Sea because we weren't we're not sure which coastal city he was in. That also narrows down the fact that he was in a coastal city, which is nice for us. So what we're going to have to do is move the hunters over here to... Uh, um, France and Italy to try and head him off when he makes landfall again. Every time he spends in the water, he takes damage. So it's not good for Dracula to just sit there in the water because his health starts going down rapidly. However, we also need to find these areas that he has left traps in because if he's left vampires, we need to deal with it. So, uh, Lord Galdamin, what I am going to do with uh, him is we are actually going to move in here to the Adriatic Sea. Now, with uh, Dr. Seward, I'm, what I'm going to have to do here is try and track down where Dracula has been here in Spain. So we're going to head to um, Alicante. Okay. So what that just told me, the fact that I haven't revealed anything on the on the trail here, leads me to believe that Dracula is in the South Atlantic now, because the only two places that you can get onto the Mediterranean Sea from France is um, Alicante, Barcelona, and Marseille. And we haven't we haven't uh, checked out Lisbon, Cadiz, or Satander. Like I said, I'm sorry for butchering these names, but they only empty out into the South Atlantic. So Dracula has kind of given away his location a little bit, or we found out where he is. So it would probably be best for Van Helsing if we go ahead and just have him hang out in these two coastal cities. With Mina... Um, now we're going to go ahead and use a train ticket. And we can, as you can see, we can move from Nuremberg to Munich to Strasbourg to Zurich using this uh, train service. So let's go ahead and do that. Choo-choo. False tip. Play when a hunter spends a ticket. If the hunter played chartered carriage, cancel that card. Otherwise, you choose where the hunter moves by railway. This is another one of those horrible cards that we gave Dracula by via trying to supply. So now Mina unfortunately boarded the wrong train and she is now up in northern Germany, which is not good. Now, when you're at sea, you really can't do anything other than move, so you can't supply or do anything when you're in the ocean. All you can do is pass your turn. So Lord Galdamine will enjoy the room service on the ship. And let's go ahead and reserve a ticket for Dr. Seward. Boo. That's unfortunate. And Van Helsing. Let's do the same thing for him. Two slash two. And Mina's probably not very happy. I can't say that I blame her. Try and get our new ticket. Cool. We can at least go back right back where we started. Okay. 
So Dracula has taken more health. He has moved to another ocean space. So let's go ahead and look at the general map here. If he was in the South Atlantic, then that means he either moved to the North Atlantic here or he's in the Mediterranean Sea. So we have to, like I said, we have to cover our bases here fairly quickly. Um, with Lord Galdamine, let's go ahead and move him. We'll move him to the Ionian Sea. Fortunately, we don't take damage for being out on a boat for a long period of time. Um, we are going to move Dr. Seward here to Granada. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you can guys see it. There we go. Seeing if we can still reveal these cities on the trail. Um, Van Helsing. I just love... One of the things I loved about the movie Van Helsing, and there wasn't a whole lot of things I loved about that movie, but I loved how Dracula would say his name. Abraham. And we, with uh, Lucy, since we kind of know which ocean uh, she's in, or Dracula's in, we're going to catch a train here from, I believe, Berlin all the way to Paris. So when Dracula makes landfall, we can use uh, Mina's ability. Did I say Lucy? I did say Lucy, didn't I? Whoops, that's awkward. And um, see if Dracula actually landed in France. Okay, enjoying the good life on the Ionian Sea is Lord Galdamine. Uh, Dr. Seward, let's get another train ticket for you. Let's go ahead and supply with Van Helsing. Ooh, a steak. That's a good one. But Dracula now has a card too, and everyone is sad. I try to make sure all of my hunters have at least one train ticket. He is getting good luck with those. And Dracula has landed. So he is either in Nantes or Bordeaux. Hold on. Let's uh, zoom out here. Get an idea. So this is where Dracula can be, guys. Um, he could either be actually right where Seward was. And I have done that playing Dracula. I have just followed hunters right behind them dropping encounters and being that guy. Um, he could be here in France, either in Bordeaux or Nantes. Could have landed here in Galway in Ireland, which means he's going to be on a ship here fairly quickly because um, another thing, to, important thing to talk about the Dracula player, he can't backtrack. He can't move to any place that he already has here on the trail. And if he gets into some sort of situation where he can't move, other than somewhere he's been before, he takes like half of his health in damage. It, it's pretty nasty. Or he could have landed here in Cagliari, which I believe is Corsica. So this is interesting. We're going to move Lord Galdamine here to, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, that C. We will continue. There it is. Okay, so Dracula was in Cadiz. And he played um, Sagani bodyguards. The hunter suffers two damage, then the hunter suffers two damage and becomes delayed unless they reveal a weapon card. So this can actually do up to four damage unless the hunter has a weapon. Fortunately, we have a knife. But we have also have an event card called Forewarned. Play when you are ambushed by a non-vampire encounter card. Discard that card without effect. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The good doctor will not be touched. Away with you. So what that says here. So he was in Cadiz. He started in Madrid which means that he was definitely in the South Atlantic. So he is definitely in those locations that I said before. He either landed on a city here in the North Atlantic or in the Mediterranean. There's nowhere else he could have gone. 
Um, so with Van Helsing, we are going to go ahead and move down here to Bordeaux. Okay, no Dracula. And now with Luce, or I said Lucy again, with Mina, there is no, unfortunately, I should have stayed where I was. Um, I am going to take a train to Marseille. And Dracula did not land there. All right. So we're kind of narrowing down where he could be. He's either like right back here in Spain and moving his way up. Um, he landed here in Cagliari. Or he is here in Ireland. There's really nowhere else that he could be. So this is this is going to get very interesting. Let's go ahead and grab more cards. Dogs, uppers. And with Van Helsing, um, I think we're going to go ahead and you can reserve you can reserve a ticket and this didn't discard one that you already have. So we're going to get rid of this shameful single one and hopefully get a better ticket. Much better. And with Mina... Supplies. Oh, Mina's got puppers too. And Dracula has something. Roadblock. Play immediately or at the end of the Dracula phase. Place three roadblock tokens on the board. Hunters cannot move using a road or railway that has a roadblock token. And then every turn, he removes one roadblock. So let's see where he puts them, because that can actually be a good determination of where he is. All right. So he has moved to another city. So that eliminates um, Cagliari, because then he would have had to go to the ocean, because there's no other way to go. He could still be up here in Ireland. I'm hoping that is not the case. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and move to Genoa. And with Dr. Seward. Move to Lisbon. And there we go. That was the other card that he had. Uh, the hunter reveals all their item and event cards and they discard all of their tickets. The hunter may discard a weapon card to discard this card without effect. And then, but we have the special card dogs. Reveal this card before you search. If you reveal rats, saboteur, spy, or wolves, uh, discard that card. If you're ambushed by rat, saboteur, spy, or wolves, you may discard both this card and that card. Dracula ambushed us with the card. So, uh, yeah. The dogs are going to gnaw on that spy. So we know that he went into the ocean in Lisbon. That narrows things down substantially. And what we're going to do here is if he landed here in Barcelona, then and still in Spain. And this is kind of a this is a this is kind of a Hail Mary, because if he goes up to Ireland, that's going to be a bit of a problem for us. But we're going to head to... Actually, you know what? I am going to send Van Helsing via boat. Oh, man, where do I go? Train. We're going to send him up to... Um, right? That's good. Yes, train. Because if Dracula is in Ireland and then he heads into the Irish Sea, he's probably going to land in England and I'm going to try and cut him off.
And with Lucy, we're going to try to... We're going to... Uh, with Lucy and Sue... Or Lucy. Mina. I don't know why I keep on saying Lucy. Um, we're going to try and... We're going to find out for sure that he's not in Spain anymore. That's the hope, at least. I'm getting some more gear with Lord Galdamine. I need to discard a card. I'm going to discard Fast Horses. And we've got plenty of gear here. I'm going to try and get another ticket. A better ticket. Ticket to ride. Boo. Thanks, Portugal. And, yeah, reserve another ticket. Same thing with Mina. Mina. Not Lucy. I think maybe... Oh, he went into the... Okay. I think that Dracula is in the Irish Sea. He just went into the ocean again. He's at 10 health. So I am going to go ahead and call my shot here. Um, what's a special ability? Or what, what cards do we have? And one of your tickets to move to a city up to four railways away. That is pretty good because we need to start covering ground here fairly quickly. So we're going to use um, special and use chartered carriage. Use one of our crap train tickets. And look at that. We can go all the way up here to where Van Helsing is. I believe. Anyway. Sometimes the game can be a little bit strange in what it... There we go. You have to have kind of fight it to click sometimes. And what I'm going to do with uh, Dr. Seward now is we're going to go into the South Atlantic and he's going to head to Ireland. Now, the thing about it is, is that Dracula has kind of trapped himself here because if he's in the Irish Sea, he can't go back to the... Actually, hold on a second. Do, 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 do. He has trapped himself. If he's in the North Atlantic and went to the Irish Sea, he can't go back to the North Atlantic, so he has to land in England. That makes sense. Okay, Van Helsing, we will go into the English Channel. With Mina, unfortunately we are not in a place that has uh, easy access to a rail, so we will head back to Bordeaux. I think one of the reasons I said, oh, that's what I was talking about, a week has passed, you notice that we got this little ugly pie piece now that means Dracula's getting stronger that we need to hurry it up you know reserve a train ticket here the faster we can move the better off we are we have to use our technology against Dracula So if Dracula has makes landing, we know he's in England, I feel. And another ticket. Boo. Ally invoked. Oh, okay, it's because now the trail has gone to six six cards. Now we know it was the South Atlantic, so I still think that we're good. He has landed, so he is either in Swansea or Swansea or uh, can't tell where that is. Let's go. Oh, need to travel by boat. And we need Dr. Seward to clear out these locations. And Van Helsing has landed in London. 
Now, part of me feels with Mina that it would probably be best to keep one person here on the mainland just in case Dracula makes a, a dash off of England because England has so many coastal cities. He could then head into the North Sea. And if he went to the North Sea, then he could go to um, Amsterdam or Hamburg. So I'm going to use one of my tickets and travel to Brussels. Once again, enjoying room service on the ship is Lord Galdamine, as a member of nobility is wont to do. Same thing for Dr. Seward. Um, I feel I should be getting some cards with that Helsing if a fight with Dracula is imminent and a crucifix is a wonderful thing to start with. And evil presence. Play immediately. Dracula must announce the name of each hunter who is adjacent to his current location. But Dracula has a card called Sensationalist Press that he just played to counter that. When a hunter plays local rumors, hired scouts, newspaper reporter, evil presence, cancel that card. So that's a shame. Okay. Um, Lucy, Mina. Okay, the reason I'm doing that is um, recently I watched the um, 70s version of Dracula with, um, what's his name? Uh, he played he played Skeletor. He was in the ninth, uh, Frank Langella, um, which is a very interesting version of it. But in that film, I believe Mina is the one who dies and Lucy's the one who uh, ends up being Dracula's like main squeeze. North Atlantic. Okay, we know he's in England. There's nowhere else he could be. We are tightening the tightening the uh, snare, let's say. So now let's see what Dracula was up to here in Ireland. Saboteur. The hunter becomes delayed. Return this card face up. The hideout, unless the hunter reveals a pistol or a rifle. Sadly, I do not have that. So, in order to deal with the sabotage, we become delayed, which means that we are not able to move the next turn, I don't think. Or, we're not going to be able to do anything tonight, I don't think. Okay, now we need to determine... What I'm going to do is I want to move with Van Helsing. I mean, I've got a... If... I think he's I think he's up here in Manchester. Because he landed... And then he's... Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the carriage up to Manchester with Van Helsing. Is he there? Hey, buddy! We have found Dracula. Now it's time for everyone to start moving. Get everyone. Oh, uh, no. Let's go ahead and move Mina up here to Amsterdam. He was basically making a run up here to either London or Edinburgh or Edinburgh to. Uh... Oh, here's combat. OK. Here's how combat works, guys. It's kind of like rock, paper, scissors. Dracula has special cards and um, we have special cards that get played. It's all based on the symbols on the bottom of these cards. If we match a symbol, we've um, it, it's like rock, paper, scissors, where if you play a uh, basically what this does is if Dracula plays a card that has a fang, a punch or a claw, we counteract that card. Same thing with the crucifix. Um, if we have, fa if, if he plays a fang or has this mesmerize, that's what that eyeball means, or this mist, he doesn't 
it cancels it out. So we actually have a lot of options. We've also got Holy Circles. Holy Circle. Choose one or more hunters to be removed from this combat, then discard this card. This is our get out of fight free card. We've got a good old punch to the face. So what I'm going to play right off the bat, and Dracula can play anything. The problem with combat, though, is once you use one of these cards, it will not be available to you in the next round of combat. So you have to kind of be careful what to do. Let's go with... Dodge. We're just going to try and get out of the way. Good thing I played that. So he was trying to slice us and dice us. We went, no. And got out of the way. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of, like, oomph, like damage against him. Let's go ahead and just punch Dracula in the face, since he can't use claws. He's probably going to try and bite us, though. Ooh, he went for strength. So he just hit us for two. So what that strength card did, the enraged, the engaged hunter suffers two damage if they played punch, crucifix, or a weapon card. Cancel that card, fortunately. Um, I'm going to go with crucifix since he already used overpower. I don't know if he's going to try and bite us. Ooh, he's plotting. I hate this card because he does this little bewitched nose crinkle in the game. You would hope that that would do damage to him, but it doesn't. Um, Let's go ahead and play dodge. He may be trying to escape. Oh, he escaped. He just went, nope. And Van Helsing has a bloody nose. Alright. So Dracula has escaped, and that means he has also gone... He's gone to an adjacent city, which means that he is definitely in Edinburgh right now. That's good, though. That means that we can track him down and take him down because we actually have some oomph for it. We have some firepower with Lord Galdamine. I don't want to give him anything. We have a we have pistols and a garlic wreath. Let's do Ah, more garlic. Huzzah. And another pistol. <laughs> we're just covered. We're like revolver ocelot. We got all these pistols and just covered in garlic. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of one. Oh, we have to discard two. That's a shame. Uh, we don't. If you are engaged, the hunter. Get rid of the garlic reef. I want the double pistols. Um, reveal a location card on the third space of the trail. Reveal the location card of either... Okay, we'll just play that immediately. Doesn't really matter. We know where he is. We just spent the night becoming undelayed with Dr. Seward. Um, Van Helsing is in a bit of pain right now, as one can imagine. So we are going to go ahead and let him get some well-deserved bed rest and recover some damage. And Mina... We'll go ahead and supply. She gets the garlic wreath instead. And we'll get rid of fast horses. Uh, choose two cities. Well, okay. Pink and bump. Well, Liverpool and Dublin. So yeah, he is definitely there. He's about to head into the ocean, which means that there's only two places that he can be he can head to. 
um, unless he wants to head in here into the English Channel. And that's Amsterdam and Hamburg. So, we are going to go ahead and move into the ocean. Head back to the mainland, essentially. Dr. Seward is seeing what's up in Dublin. A natural fog. Place a fog token in the city. If it's a port, place a second fog token. Hunters cannot move in and out of the city that has a fog token. If it's in the day, each... Okay, delayed again. He's had a rough time of it, hasn't he? And we may as well try and figure out what he has in Liverpool. So Van Helsing's going to travel that way. And a natural fog. Oh, that's not good. I mean, it's not horrible, necessarily, but definitely isn't good. Um. So check this out with Mina. I am going to head to Cologne. That way I have easy a pathway to either port if Dracula decides to head that way. All these guys are coughing and hacking. Got bamboozled by Tommy Chong. Hey, Mina, you need some firepower. <laughs> um, I don't know. Getting rid of the holy circle. Don't care. Oh, and Dracula got a card. Okay, um, Dracula has just gone into either the North Atlantic or the English Channel. So that is actually quite interesting. He was in the North Sea. So let's go... You guys kind of get the premise of the game. It's just a cat and mouse game and then just trying to box him in. And he can't move because we, unfortunately, are just still dealing with fog. So I'm actually going to pass my turn with Dr. Seward. Van Helsing, he is actually still hurting quite a bit, so... Oh no, I went for supply instead. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Uh, let's get rid of the Holy Circle. Holy Circle doesn't do what I was hoping that it would do in terms of mechanics, but that's all right. Okay, so North Sea is pretty much out of the running, so he's not going to be landing in Germany. Let's go ahead and use... Um, and the thing about it is, he if, if he goes to the ocean again, let's go ahead and kind of take a look at this. If he goes into the ocean, if he's in here in the North Atlantic... He can't go into the Irish Sea again, because that's already... Um, oh, no, it's... Yeah, it's right here. So he can't backtrack. So he... And he can't land in... Oh, he can land in Galway again if he wants to. I may go ahead and keep uh, Dr. Seward here in Dublin, just in case he wants to double back. But if that's the case, then he will probably either... Land, if he, until he, Unless he keeps stays in the ocean, he will either land in Nantes or Bordeaux. So let's go ahead and use a train ticket. And we're going to move Mina here to Paris, and we're just going to try our best to head to either of these locations. We actually have fast track to both of those places if Dracula decides to land. That's good. That's very good. All right, the f fog has finally left <laughs> this area of the Irish Sea. Um, we are going to try and get a better train ticket. We'll discard this one. And got a worse one. Ooh. But we can try and discard that again because he does have that ability. Better. Much better. Um, we will pass again. With Van Helsing, we're going to go ahead and pass. 
Because we got we got we got plans for them, you know, there's stuff that we have to do. And more supplies. Another garlic wreath. And we have two of those. We just need one. And lucky find. Um, also, another thing I needed to tell you about the big cities, when you supply, you have one. Or when you're in the big cities, you can get two cards via supply. In the small towns, you only get one. So Dracula has landed, which means that he is either. Um, let's go ahead and see. Hunters can perform actions regardless of any order. I like that. Let's see what happens. Look, you can hear the hounds of hell in the background. Literally, it's a corgi. Let's, um, I played this so we can move in any order. Let's move Mina via train. And zoom out here so we can see where exactly she's moving to Bordeaux. See if Dracula's there. Uh-huh. Discarding. No. And that means... Nantes, there you are. New vampire. The hunter fights this vampire. Other hunters on this location may be delayed to, be to participate in this combat. So not only do we have to fight Dracula, uh, we got a new recruit here that we got to put into the ground. Fortunately, Lord Galdamine has a lot of gear and a lot of life. So hopefully we are up to the challenge here. Um, I want to shoot her. <laughs> See what happens. Oh, you're going to break my gun. Well, that's unfortunate. Pfft, ow. Can we still shoot her? No. But she doesn't have that card anymore. And we have two pistols, and that's exactly why I wanted to keep those two pistols. So now we will shoot her again. Because the pistol actually prevents against plotting. You can't plot when you just got shot in the face. Um, if you are engaged the fangs and the vampire. Let's go with garlic. Good old garlic. Yeah, he had multiple plotting cards. That's unfortunate. I'm very aromatic. Do I have anything to dodge the strength? Because I think that's next. Let's go ahead and do that. Yep. Saw that coming. Gotta get out of the way. Should have played garlic instead, but let's get to shooting. Now, the vampires can escape as bats if they want to, and then we have to take them down another way. That's all right, though. We know Dracula is there. So now it's basically a all hands on deck situation. Um, move to the Irish Sea. Same thing with Van Helsing. Because Lord Galdamine does have a fight here in a second. Yep. Against the, I believe, the Dark Lord himself. Mm-hmm. He's not looking too hot, though, is he? Let's start off with some garlic. crap <laughs> well that's unfortunate use some protean claws nasty thing about uh, claws and I'll show you as you can see he just got hit twice 
Oh, okay. I did a little bit of damage. That's good. If Lord Galdamine and Dracula, like, KO each other at the same time, I will not be angry about that. Let's do... Pistol. Shoot him in the face. Okay. He's gonna punch us in the face instead. Ow. Not looking so hot. And now we have to discard one of our pistols, which is unfortunate. That's alright, though. He tried to plot. The pistol decides. I'm worth it. I'm okay with Lord Galdamine taking some chin music. If it means that we can... Okay, he's going to go for claws next, I imagine. So let's go ahead and dodge. It's like rock, paper, scissors. You just got to try and find the right thing and hope to God that you got it. Claws. Because that actually would have killed him. With the double. Um, just real quick. If it's night, the hunt, the, he can do a double damage with the claws. This is, this is the bewitching hour, let's say. Um, let's go with Garlic. I think he might do Overpower again, or go for a Bite Attack. Bite Attack actually gives him health. Did we do the right thing? Yes, we did! Breathe it in. Breathe it in, Dracula. <laughs> Another pistol? Oh, he's trying to escape as Mist. We don't really have a don't have a way to deal with that, unfortunately. All right, Lord Galdamine is hurting, but so is Dracula. So what that does is Dracula. It, this isn't like the escape is bat where he heads off into another city. This basically just gave him some unbreathing room. So we're going to take some time uh, for Lord Galdamine to rest up, become less bleedy. Because we still have we have another fight on our hands here, I believe. Lucy, I'm gonna get you a ticket to Paris because that's I have a feeling. What's Dracula gonna do here? Okay, he has disappeared. He has moved into another city. So he is either in La Herve or Paris, right? So let's do this. We, we've got to track him down. we got to take him down. Going to see if he's here. There he is. And he put down a reckless vampire that we were going to have to fight first. Which is a shame. I'm actually going to try to escape. And just remove the combat entirely. Ooh. Okay. It's got hit for two. Ugh. But off you go. He went, no, that's not happening. Because we want to fight Dracula. Move to the boat. Move to the boat. Now imagine playing this with five people, with each person playing a hunter and one person playing Dracula. It can get pretty hectic very quickly, which I'm all for. All right. Well, actually, we need to move by train. Let's head to Paris, where the party's happening. And if Mina takes him down, that'll be kind of awesome. Um, lucky find. Look at the five car top cards of the item deck and place one in your... Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Basically, it lets us... Uh, get a very nice card to start this off. The pri uh, uh, crucifix. Stake. 
Reveal this card before you search. Well, we're not searching, unfortunately. Um, we already got, we got tons of garlic already. Let's give Mina a gun. She's got a gun in her portrait. It, it only, it makes sense. And we have invoked the garlic wreath. Basically, he needs to keep his hands to himself or it's, he's not going to be in a good way. What does the Heavenly Host do again? Um, if you are the engaged hunter and Fangs has played, you're bitten. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, we got that card for Dracula. No! That's unfortunate. I think we just lost our pistol. All right, we're going to punch the vampire in the face. And then worst comes to worst, we'll escape. Get out of here. Very satisfying. <laughs> And let's go. I want to save that Heavenly Host card for Dracula. I'm gonna take some I'm gonna take some damage from it, but it's okay. Because if Dracula's dead, then these other vampires we've been dealing with doesn't matter. Yoink, send away. That music is so epic. Get you pumped. Ready to go. Okay. Um, you or another hunter are removed from combat. Let us play. I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'll play escape route. This is going to be very like dramatic if this works. I want Lord Galdamin because he's about to die. He is going to get out of here. And it's just going to be Mina and Dracula. And I am going to play Heavenly Host. If you are in if you are the engaged hunter and Fangs was played, you're bitten and removed from this combat, then discard this card. Basically, you don't suffer the effects of Fangs. Otherwise, the vampire suffers four damage. So we are going to basically hail Mary with the Heavenly Host and take out Dracula because he only has three health. Let's do this. Please don't play Mesmerize and counter it, because that will make me a sad panda. You made me a sad panda, Dracula. Oh no, it countered act. Okay, cool. Bam! There you go. Mina has gotten revenge. I thought it counteracted the other one. And there we go. The hunters have slain Dracula. And the hunters have won, and peace returns. The achievement just got unlocked, and it gives you some really cool stats in the digital version. Uh, look how many kilometers we traveled. 12,524. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, that is kind of the uh, meat and potatoes of Fury of Dracula, guys. Um, you can buy this board game on Amazon. The digital version is on... Um, on Steam. I have that linked in the description below and heck, I'll go ahead and link the board game also the Amazon link below if you want to get that yourself. It is a great game to play um, either with two people or with five or however many you have. Um, it is a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, this was for Lubicon 2021. Please check out their links in the description. Um, the theme is March, or theme of is board games in March and um, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't followed the channel, please do so. Um, like, share, subscribe. You guys know the drill there on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.